Hello everyone, my name is Durvesh and our topic is remote sensing using Google Earth Engine to monitor algae bloom in water bodies. My group members are Abdullah and Achaya. So let's get started. Before heading to our project for people who don't know what Waterlix does, Waterlix is a global company working to provide modern solutions by analyzing the data and providing effective recommendations. Waterlix business encompasses a wide range of solutions from assessing pipe breakouts to understanding water demands. The company is based in Ontario and runs various research projects in partnership with the universities from USA, Canada, and Australia. So what are algae blooms? Algae are simple plants that live in the sea and fresh water. Harmful algae blooms occur when colonies of algae grow out of control and provide toxic or harmful effects on fish, people, marine mammals and birds. They are the main cause of oxygen depletion which leads to large-scale death of aquatic creatures. It also makes the drinking water toxic. Study shows also that they are a health hazard to the humans and the local ecosystem. It also broadly affects the industries dependent on the water bodies that are fishing and agriculture. As data scientists, we usually need to acquire the data for the geospatial projects. Satellite images or raster images from other sources, such as drones, etc., has revolutionized the way we monitor our farms, forests, and water bodies. After the Landsat 8 image collections were made available to the public in 2008, Google aggregated this enormous and important data collection and connected it to its cloud data centers, making one of the largest database for analyzing the Earth's resources available to the science community. Users can also upload and manage their own data and libraries with all processing handled by Google's cloud services. Mapping natural vegetation, identifying deforestation, categorizing land cover and wetlands, analyzing major urban growth, demographic mapping, etc. are just a few applications of Google Earth Engine. In our case study, we try to compare the algal bloom in the areas near the city and the farmlands, which are covered by Lake Eyre. According to the National Academy of Science of the United States of America, in 2011, Lake Eyre experienced the largest algal bloom recorded in the history, with a peak intensity over three times greater than any other previously observed bloom. We find that trends in agricultural practices, increased precipitation, low lake circulation, and quiescent conditions conspire to the yield the record-breaking 2000-level Lake Eyre algal bloom.